work. Guess what? Jesus Christ. That's a part of our history. We always go to Martin Luther King. Get that. Christ. Color Christ. We go to Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, but our history go far beyond that. And go to Jesus Christ. And go to the prophets. All right? Read that. We have not learned our true heritage and our true nationality according to the Holy Bible. Bro, let me pose a question out there. What? So-called black man, what is your true nationality? What is your true heritage? Bring it out. Brothers down there, put the hats on. Can you tell me your true nationality? Can anybody tell me that? Matter of fact, we're going to go into that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it out. How you doing, brother? Come over here. Soldier, soldier, come. Come over here, bro. What, what's your name? Tony? Right, my name is Yaanai, okay? So, let me ask you a question. What is your nationality? What is your nationality? Or your race? Your people who you come from? Race? Yeah, what's your race? You don't got no race? No, I'm saying, I ain't saying nothing against nobody. Like, what is your race? Black? Black American, right? Now, look at this sign right here. You see American blacks, right? According to the Holy Bible, they are actually from the tribe of Judah. Right. Of the nation of Israel, okay? And we want to show you that. Just start off with Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. How you doing, sir? Good, What's your name? I'm Scott. Everybody call him Carlos. Carlos? Yeah. Call, my name is Yana, okay? Yana. All right, what we're going over is our church. Our true heritage and nationality according to the Bible, all right? Okay. Now read this. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Now quick question. Do y'all know about the story with Moses brought the children of Israel through the Red Sea, right? Yeah. You know about that? You, have you heard of it at all? Okay, good, good, good. Bring it what we're going to do, we're going to find out who these particular people are today, all right? Read that. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So right now we're in the book of Deuteronomy. Moses is speaking in the book of Deuteronomy to the children of Israel. Y'all understand that? Bring it out. All right, read on. On this side, Jordan in the wilderness, uh -huh. in the plain over against the Red Sea, uh -huh. between Paran and Tephel, uh -huh. and Laban and Hezeroth mm -hmm. and Dizahab. So this, this is right after they came out of Egypt, out of slavery, correct? All right, now jump to chapter 28. Chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. What? Listen, just listen good, all right? Just listen good and pay attention to what Moses is speaking to the Israelites, what he's going to tell them. Go ahead. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. Go. But it shall come to pass. So Moses told the children of Israel, it shall come to pass. Meaning, what that mean? It shall come to pass. And what does it mean? If you don't know, that's all right. You don't know? Okay, that means it's going to happen. Okay? Read on. Go. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, sis, how you doing, sis? What's your name? Well, you don't got to give me your name. What we're going over is our true nationality according to the Bible, okay? All the information that you're going to need, your true heritage, it's on that flyer, all right? All right. Read it from the top again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Hey, hey, family. What we're going over is our true nationality according to the Bible, all right? Read on. Hello. But it shall come Hello. to pass. Uh-huh. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says if we do not, the children of Israel, if they do not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, which is the Bible. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. So we want to observe and do all God's commandments. Go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh-huh. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these what? All these curses. Go ahead. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So, did the children of Israel, if you know a little bit, did the children of Israel listen to God's commandments? Remember they worshipped the golden calf? They was murmuring against Moses. Do you know a little bit about that? A little bit, a little bit. All right. So, read it. Read again. Read it for uh, all these curses. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, Moses told the Israelites, for you disobeying God's commandments, all these curses are going to come upon you, or bad things going to come upon you and overtake you as a nation of people, all right? Now, before we get into the curse, let me ask you a question. What happened, what's some history about us? What happened to us in 
slavery. Well, matter of fact, how do we came over here to the Americas from the West Coast of Africa? I know you know that much now. Come on now. You've been to elementary school, right? Right, so you should know a little bit, right? That's fine. That's fine. That's what I'm saying. Good, good, good. All praise. Well, guess what? We're going to help you out, right? I'm just filling the gaps that probably, I know you say you've been here for about 21 years, right? So a lot of stuff probably been forgotten, right? All right, read the curses again. Uh, verse 15. All, yeah, all these curses start right there. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites, all these bad things, evil things, going to come upon you and overtake you. Excuse me, sir. How you doing, brother? How did we came over here to this side of the world? All right, it, it's all right, it's all right. Now go to verse 68. Let me show you. I want to go in order for you, all right? Read verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now stop right there. God says he's going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt again. Do you know what the children of Israel was doing in Egypt the first time? You know about them building the pyramids, there were slaves in Egypt? You heard about it? All right, we're going to get into it for you. All right, how you doing, brother? What's your name? JT? JT, what we're going over is our true nationality according to the Bible, all right? Hey. Everybody listen up. We're going over our history, okay? Read it. Uh, Exodus 22. Yeah, Exodus 20 and 2. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Read on. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So God brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. How y'all doing? What we're going over is our true nationality according to the Bible, all right? We're far greater than what we become in America. Right. We're the Israelites according to the Bible. All right. All right. Read it again. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. So God says he brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt from bondage. Bondage. What's another word for bondage? group of people together in bondage. What is that called? Start with an S word. Start with an S. It's slavery. Okay, bondage, slavery. It's the same thing. So Egypt means slavery. Okay? Now go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with Ships. So God says he's going to bring the children of Israel into slavery again with what? With ships. Do you know, did that happen to anybody else going on slavery on ships? That never happened to anybody else but our people, right? You know that must have history, right? So if that happened to, if God said that happened to the children of Israel, and that only happened to us in history, then who are we according to the Bible? If this happened to the children of Israel, who are we? You are the children of Israel. That's right. Bible, all right. I know it's kind of fine to you, but just bear with us. All right. Keep going. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So God says, as a nation of people, for breaking His commandments, we will not see our homeland again. What is our homeland according to the Bible? Hello. What is our homeland? Does anybody know down there? Excuse me, brother. What is our homeland? What is our homeland? Does anybody know? Do you know what our homeland is? Do you? No? Let's go. Let's get there. Our homeland. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Hello. Wow. But Jerusalem. What? what? But Jerusalem. What, what? But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem, which is in Israel today. Go ahead. Which is above is free. Because uh, it's above all nations. Go ahead. Which is the mother of us all. The what? The mother of us all. So what's our homeland according to the Bible? What is our homeland according to the Bible? Hmm. Read it again. Read it again. I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention. It's important. Read it again. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem. What? What? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Go ahead. Which is above is free. Read on. Which is the mother of us all. So what is our motherland according 
according to the Bible. Jerusalem. There you go. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. Verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Now this is how you're supposed to read the Bible. Precept upon precept, or here a little and there a little, alright? That's why we go into different scriptures. So we went to Exodus 20 and 2 to show you that Egypt means slavery. Follow me? Then we went to Galatians chapter 4, verse 26 to show you what our homeland is, alright? So read that part again. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it. No more again. So the it that we will not see again is our homeland, which is what? Well, our homeland is Jerusalem. So we will not see Jerusalem no more again as a nation of people. Okay? Now are we in Jerusalem now? Are we in America, right? So we that prophecy did come to pass. But people went on slavery on slave ships and they will not see their homeland Jerusalem no more again. That only happened to us. Go ahead. And there, and there, once you get off the slave ship, hold on. What happened when we got off the slave ship? Just give me some stuff. You don't know? What about? Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. That one, yeah. Let me get that. One. Do you know about this? No. Are people being sold on auction slave blocks? You don't know about that history? Man, so, how, how, let me ask you a question. Put that back. How, how long have you been in school? In the school system? How long? You got school kids, man. What's going on, bro? Yeah. Good to see you again, man. Hey, yeah. you checked out the flyer yeah. before? I ain't want, I ain't want to read. Hey, that's what we need. We need to read, man. Learn your history. So, how long you been in school? Ten years? Okay, so what's the last completion in? Like what grade, if you know? Tenth no. grade? Okay, I, I got so no, you should know a little bit of history. Now. Yeah, you get far one. You should know a little bit, even though even though you say you've been in jail for about twenty one years, you still should know a little bit of history. Uh huh. I don't. Okay. Really remember too much about the past, right? But well, guess what? That's why we here to yeah, restore that back to you. Okay? Matter of fact, hold us, get uh and Maccabees restored to the Cadence State of our people. That's what we here to do. Go ahead and read that. First Maccabees. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 43. Go ahead. Go ahead. They said one to another. So we said one to another. Go ahead. Let us restore the decayed estate of our people. So right now, people are in a decayed estate. We got to catch the bus. We're going to prison. Go. Right? And sometimes we go to prison for being innocent. They might pull us over and, and persecute us for the wrong reason. Just because they want to attack us, right? They hunt our steps. So read it again. First Maccabees me chapter 3, verse 43. Yeah. They said one to another, uh -huh. let us restore the decayed estate of our people. So that's what we had to do with you, all right? And what's your name again? Tony. Tony, Tony, we are here to restore what was decayed, what became decayed to you, all right? Yeah. History, all right? Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. You said 31? 31. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1 Bro. And it shall come to pass When all these things are come upon thee The blessing and the curse mm -hmm. Which I have set before thee That thou shalt call them to mind Among all nations Whether the Lord thy God have driven thee Bro, I like that, read that again Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1 uh -huh. And it shall come to pass So this is going to happen Go ahead. When all these things are come upon thee Uh huh the blessing uh -huh. and the curse. So are we a blessed people right now? Do we look like we blessed? As a nation of people. You think so? So it's going to prison, a blessed thing? No. And a lot of people in prison, right? A lot of people in Section 8, in the ghettos, right? Bring it out. That's how at first fire. So we're not blessed as a people. Not right now, though. 
Read that again, the curse. Let's when see. all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. So the curses did come upon us. Did we go on slavery or slave ships? That was one of the curses. So this did happen, right? Go ahead. Which I have set before thee, and thou and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, uh -huh. whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. So the Lord driven us over here in America on slave ships. And like how you say, you don't remember too much about your history because it's been lost to you, right? So yeah. now we're here to, to cause you to bring back the remembrance of those things which was lost. That's right. right. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's give you those things that were lost. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. Hello. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And there you shall be saved. Unto your enemies. You shall be what? You shall be sold unto your Sign enemies. Again. Read that part again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Didn't this happen to us? Weren't we sold to our enemies? Which is who? Who is this? What race of people is this? Hold on. Europeans, Caucasians, right? This this Bible history we're going over. This is history. We were sold as a nation of people on option slave blocks. Right. All right, go ahead. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women and what? And no man shall buy you. We had, since Black History Month, right? We had Dr. Martin Luther King who tried to save us. We had Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X. We had Sir Jordan Truth that tried to slave, save the slaves. But all that failed, why? Because the curses came upon us. We was not going to be saved. That's what the Bible say. Okay? Hello. Now give me verse 48. Let's get some more. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Uh -huh. Hello. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So are we serving our enemies today? Remember who our enemy was? Those who sold us, which is the Caucasians, right? And all other nations had us in slavery at one point in time. Right. Hello. So read it from the top again. Therefore shalt thou serve Thine enemies. So we're going to have to serve our enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against and thee. God sent them against us. The reason why we in this situation, because God sent the nations against us because we disobeyed him. We disobeyed his commandments and we continue to do it. Go ahead. In hunger. In hunger, we're going to have to serve our enemies. If you want something to, to, to eat, what do you have to go to do to get some food? To the store, right? right. Now, who owns those stores? Do our people own those stores? Who own those stores? White folks, right? Go ahead. So we have going to have to go to them for food. This is what God said. Go ahead. Hello. And then thirst. And thirst, something to drink. You want some water. Even what out your uh your, your faucet. You have to go to them to pay the bill just to, for them to turn on your water so you can get something to drink. Right. right. This is a curse that happened to our people. Go ahead. And the nakedness. And clothes, all the clothes, the, your hat, your jacket, your shirt, all that. You're going to have to go to their stores to get it, right? Read. And then what of all things? Like your bike, you're going to have to go to your enemy to get that, correct? All, anything that you want, a driver's license, birth certificate, death certificate, toilet tissue, uh, tissue to blow your nose. You're going to have to go to them for everything. Right. Go ahead. And he and his same enemy go ahead shall put a yoke of iron shall, upon thy neck shall put a what a yoke of iron upon thy neck who did that happen to us right remember the bible says this happened to who who, who is the moses speaking to remember who he's speaking to Look, it's right here at the top it's right at the top who he's speaking to israel right so if he said Israel, you're going to have yokes of iron on your neck and that only happened to us, who are we? Oh, and I see if you're paying attention. It's alright, it's alright. If that happened to Israel, it happened to us, who are we? Hey, what's going on, bro? You've been out here before, right? Yeah, yeah we are. I remember. You remember. Yeah. You look over the fire here? Yeah. You did? So why you came to the school yet, man? Come on, we right down the road, man. We right down the road. Like uh, about a couple blocks away. It's right. It's on the flyer. Yeah, give him another flyer. Give him another flyer. You got one? Okay, all praise. Look over it, all right? All right, just listen. Just listen. You got anything to do right now? 
Yeah. We're on the bus? All right, that's good. That's good. All right, so we can compensate again. All right, so read that part again. And he. So the he that we're talking about, I don't know if you remember from last time, is he is talking about the so-called European man, all right? Caucasian man. And he should do what? So put a yoke of earth upon thy neck. Uh-huh. Until he has destroyed thee. Who does this happen to us, right? So God says, remember, he's speaking to the children of Israel. He said, you Israelites, you're going to have yokes of iron on your neck until you have been destroyed. Now, when they took the yokes of iron on our neck, what happened to it? What do we do? We went back to the slave plantations because we didn't know how to function without the so-called white men, the masters, right? Bro. So read that part again. And he shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck. Uh -huh. Until he have destroyed thee. So this only happened to our people, right? Now, do you know who Moses is speaking to? Do you know who Moses is speaking to? Uh, us. Us? He's, yeah, you're correct. He's speaking to us, right? But what is our names that God calls us? Did he say he's speaking to black people? Israel. You said what? Israel. Israelites, right? So who are we according to the Bible? The Israelites, you understand that term? You the Israelites going to Bayern. What's your name again? Fred. Fred? Okay, we got you, we got you. Name is Yahana. Alright? Now, the most I say he's gonna put a yoke of iron upon our neck until we have been destroyed. We what we're doing right now is proving that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes, Lord. Right? Give me Hello. another one. Let's see. Verse 32. Let's go to verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. So our sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? What happened to our, our sons and daughters in slavery? They got sold, right? You watch the slave laws. Y'all seen Roots or 12 Years a Slave? What happened Hello. to the, the church? Matter of fact, the sister, what's her name? Kenzie? When she was on the uh, porch crying all day because they took her kids away, you remember that? Anybody remember that? All right, I just remember that. That's what the court is. Right. That's that's what happened to us, right? And I know I know you yeah, probably don't I remember too much, Tony. I know you probably don't remember, but bear with us, all right? So that happened to our people only. Was the this so-called white man? Did his sons and daughters get taken? Give it to another people? Nah, they was right there watching the whole thing happen to our people. Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. And that's still happening today. Guess what? Guess how it happens today. You you know when the so-called white man says that you black people you're not worthy parents, who do they send to come take your kids away from them? The system, right? Call it DSS, right? Go ahead. And there uh -huh. shall be no might in thine head. So when the DSS come and take your kids away, can you get them back? It's not you can do it. It's not you can get them do to get them back, right? This is a curse that happened to our people. We are Israelites according to the Bible, all right? Now I want to revisit uh verse 68, that bottom part. Hey, how you doing, bro? You gotta catch the bus? Read the flyer, all right? Your history is important. It's on that flyer. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, hold on. How y'all doing, brothers? What we're going over is our history, which is actually recorded in the Bible. How did our people get over to this side of the world? Anybody know? Boats. Boats, right? So read that part again. Read it from the top. Listen good, brother. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Give me that sign with the uh, slave ships. We have that. So God says he's going to bring out the Israelites back into Egypt again, but this time with ships. Now, what happened to the Israelites when they was in Egypt? You know? You don't know? Remember they was building for Pharaoh? Uh, pyramids. Yeah, it was in slavery, right? right? So God said He's gonna bring them back into Egypt again. Which means what? Did they ever go back into Egypt, literally? Yeah. No. So what? What is God talking about? Let's go to Exodus 22. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Yeah. I am the Lord, thy God, uh -huh. which I brought thee 
out of the land of Egypt. I brought you out of the land of Egypt. He's going to say the same exact thing, but he's going to replace Egypt with something. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. So what did God mean when he say Egypt? What did he say? Out of the house of what? Bondage. Bondage. What did he say? You heard what he said? Uh, Eric, what's your name, bro? You said what? Cedric. Cedric? All right, my name is Ya'anai, okay? So Egypt means bondage or slavery. Now watch this, verse 68. And the, listen, listen, listen. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He's going to bring you into slavery again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. Who did that happen to? That happened to us, right? Oh, All right. Yeah. God said that happened to the children of Israel, his chosen people. Now, if that happened to them and that happened to us, then who are we according to the Bible? Look it out. We're the children of Israel. That's, That's what we are here doing. And, and it's Black History Month, right? This is real Black History. Right. Black right. History is Israelite history. Right. And, and America do not want you to know that. That's why when it's slavery, they killed us for reading books. Okay? What else? In in the, the school system, they don't teach our history. What they do? They start off with slavery, right? But our history goes far beyond slavery. Right. Guess what? Jesus Christ. That's a part of our history. We always go to Martin Luther King. Get that. Christ. Color Christ. We go to Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, but our history goes far beyond that. It goes to Jesus Christ. It That's goes to the right. prophets. All right? Read that. One and one. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ, yes, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this is this is the revelation. The root word of revelation means to reveal. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Go ahead. To show unto his servants which things which must shortly come to pass. Guess what? If y'all didn't know, y'all are the servants of the living God. Okay? That's right. All right, read on. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Now let's see what John. Give me, matter of fact, give me uh, the other one too. I want the other one too. Let's do a process elimination. All right. Watch this. Now reverse. Uh, start at ten, I believe. Revelation chapter one, verse ten. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day Go ahead. and heard behind me a great voice uh -huh. as of a trumpet. Mm -hmm. Say. I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So, Christ is telling John, what you see, write it down in a book, which is what? The Bible. Okay? Read on. Uh, verse 12. And I tell you to see the voice that spake with me. Uh -huh. Which image do they give us? Which one? Over here, right? They give us this one, right? They say, this is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You think of Jesus, right? So, read it again. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So John turned to see the voice that spake with him. Go ahead. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So first off, did John see this? We see seven golden candlesticks in any of these pictures. You don't see it in there at all, right? So that's right, one. Go ahead. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So somebody's standing in the middle of the seven golden candlesticks. Go ahead. One like unto the Son of Man. It's like, hey, this look just like Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. Go ahead. Yeah. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And he had a garment down to the foot. Go ahead. And girded about the paps with a golden girdle. And he had a girl, a girdle, a golden girdle around his paps. All right. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Matter of fact, start at about the uh, golden girdle again. Let's let's get into it. Golden girdle. One leg unto the son of man, uh -huh. clothed with a garment down to the foot. Now, also, what they do in the movies and pictures, they they wear those Greek togas, right? That's like how he have right here, right? Now, did Christ wear this? Go ahead. And girdle about the paps with a golden girdle. Now, Christ had a golden girdle around his paps. That's his waist area right here, his stomach area, right? Now, in the movies, they have them little robes on, right? Did According to the Bible, did Christ wear that? No, he didn't, right? Go ahead. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it says the hair on his head and the hairs on his face, it was white and it was woolly. In this script, it's really giving you the texture. The next part is going to give you the color. Now, look at Tony here right here, our brother right here. His, 
his hairs is white and is woolly. That's how Christ's hair was. Look, no, which which one is getting close to how Christ looked? I need y'all to point at it just to make sure. Which one is getting close to how Christ looked? This one, right? All right, let's read on. That's white as snow. So he give you the color now. It's white as snow. Great, like how you got, Tony. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Get that. His eyes was a flame of fire, meaning the whites of his eyes was as a flame of fire. Now, first off, is his hair white? Is his hair woolly? Is his hair woolly? It's straight, right? It's straight. Listen good, bro. Listen good. We're going over the true image of Jesus Christ because it's Black History Month, right? We're going over Black History. Jesus Christ is no. part of black history. That's All right. right. So his hair is not white and it's not woolly like our hair, right? Go ahead. Genesis. Oh. You. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Now, no. It said Christ, his eyes was a flame of fire. Let's see what it means. It's talking about the whites of his eyes. Go ahead. His eyes shall be red with wood. Uh-huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. Now when we drink wine, right, we settle back at home drink some wine, the whites of our eyes turn red, right? So that what Christ's eyes was a flame of fire. It means he's drunk wine in moderation, all right? Go back to Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 15. Hello. Hello. How you doing, bro? What's your name? Johnson. Johnson? My name is Johanna, all right? We're Damn. doing, we're going over black history, okay? Yeah, you from Orange Bay. You from OB, right? OB? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where I was born at. Where was you born? Okay, good, yeah. good, good. Yeah, now I listen, listen that. good. No, I'm, I'm always listening because right, I went office. to college studying uh -huh. black history. Yeah, and everything about uh, slavery and everything with good. Duke State University. Right. And Clapham. Good, good. So that's what we're going over right now, right? So that's what, Watch yes. Watch okay. this. Go uh, verse 14. See? Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Right. We're going over the image of Jesus Christ, okay? Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So you can put this back. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. Go ahead. As white as snow. And it was white as snow, fully gray. Like Tony right here, you right here, and our brother right here, he getting some gray in there. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drunk wine in moderation. Uh-huh. And his feet. And his feet. Now, they wore sandals back then, right? right? Now, if you look at the top of somebody's feet, does the complexion of their feet match the rest of their body? Now, now you, you say no, right? Like, so, you, some people's feet might be lighter. And the rest of the Bible might be darker, right? But watch this. Read on. And his feet like unto fine bread. Listen good, y'all. Listen good. We're going over black history right now, okay? Listen good. Read on. His feet like what? And his feet like unto fine bread. Jesus Christ, the Messiah's feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, sis? Brown, right? Do you agree? Yeah. You agree, right? Everybody agree? So Jesus Christ's feet is like fine brass. It's brown. Now think about it. If the top of his feet is brown, what complexion is the rest of his body? Brown, right? Let's see how brown he was. Go ahead. Go. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burned in a furnace. So Jesus Christ was so brown, it looked like he was burned in a furnace. What color is that? Black, right? Right. So Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. But he wasn't a so-called black man, he was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. right. That's who all y'all are. Y'all are Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Y'all not black. Right. Not African American Negroes, coons. Y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. All right. That's all right. right. Read, read over the fire. All right. Yeah. I That's your history. Okay. Good. 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 Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino A 12 year old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black woman who was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black man was, was shot and killed in the car. Just With three days after the police placed her. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. 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 Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up.
Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.